Anyways, I'm using notes because I'm that way. Um, but that's okay. This is a presentation about fracking robots. Sorry, it's not actually about ro robots fracking. If you were expecting that. <laughs> Sorry. It's uh, not confusing. It's just for emphasis. But um, you know, I, I can see a couple guys leaving in the back. <laughs> Um, but so really, this is just, um, I'm kind of gotten interested in how we teach robots and how to teach them to learn cognitively, and the theoretical possibility that by changing the way we teach robots from a developmental perspective, we can affect um, possible outcomes. So within that, we can use um, human developmental process to teach robots to, to be socially intelligent and to do that in a language. Or we can use video augmentation um, imitation to teach language and within that have a program context. Anyways, but for so a little bit of history, the word robot came from the Czech word robota, which means forced work or slave labor, and was used in 1921 by a writer named Carol Chopak, and he wrote a play called RUR, Russian's Universal Robots. But um, basically, the, the, the play was that um, they referred to machines that were sim simulating humans, and the gist was that robots were used as slave laborers, and then they suddenly acquired souls, and then they kind of rebelled and annihilated the Greek. So hopefully that never happened. But anyways, um, so there are a lot of different kinds of terms. Um, there's artificial intelligence, Android, cyborg, um, robots, and, and I am using robots tonight. Um, or maybe I'm talking about androids, but I like the word robot. Um, I'm kind of a nerd, so you do. So developmental psych is the psychology of humans as they age, and in this case, it's most, um, most cases in regards to young children. And so Dev Psych studies things like biological innateness and environmental in, um, influence. <laughs> and so, I'll move on. So one of the biggest ones is Piaget. And this guy, um, he's a con cognitive constructionist and believed that so baby's curiosity plus time and experimentation equaled cognition. So basically came from the self. Whereas there's another guy, Vygotsky, and he believes social genesis, um, we kind of, that um, a child's social interaction plus culture. Um, okay, this is a FYI, not my original slides. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to move on. Um, PJ um, basically has an emphasis would be on new, more touching, uh, sensing new things, and you know, a toddler picking something up, and then maybe being able to understand a different point of view. Um, but Vyatsky differently thought that it came from culture that there was a kind of an inner speech and that, um, um, where am I? Well, oh, so babies would listen to the speech patterns of parents, and so it was really important to have a culture. Um, and so, ga 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 goo. Um, using the Via Godsky framework, if you're gonna teach a robot, would you um, socially interact with it um, by imitation? So I would like move my arm, and the robot would also move its arm, and by that, it basically create, creating a proto-language. Kind of complicated to do in you know, 15 seconds, but um, you can actually teach a, a robot to um, autonom autonomically um, think and, and, with, and have a language. And so that to me is important because what we do is we have a culture and from that we have um, our language. And so I'm thinking that we can take, if we can teach another language or te teach a language to another entity, they can um, reversibly go back and create a culture and create a robot culture. So the broader implications are that culture um, is to kind of creates a language, and then from that, um, language has, creates history because you can say, I did pick up the cup, or I am picking up the cup. So within that, you can create a society, a robot society, a societal existence. Um, I don't know are, but anyways, um, that's kind of fascinating to me, and uh, I think, um, I hope that was at all interesting to you guys. I didn't talk about a little fracking, sorry, but you know, because who doesn't want to get on with a day like um, um, But if you're interested, there are um, other, um, you can read different, <laughs> there, you can read different things. Um, there's a gal, a gal, Dr. Dottenham, who I really like, and you can um, also email me if you're at all interested in learning a little bit more about kind of how we might create a robot society. And who knows, maybe next night we'll see some easier.